Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're decorating a spread in my classic size catch-all happy planner. Um, this is the dashboard layout for the week of February 5th through the 11th. I'm going to be using florals only. Um, these are radiant pellet, pellets, petals. Um, these florals are available in my shop now and with orders of $35 or more in my shop, you can get 50% off. So these are very affordable right now for frugal February in my shop. Um, so head over there, thepleasantlyplanned.com and get yours ordered so anyways um this is my catch-all planner so i've said before i need to utilize as much space as possible to write everything down um for work and home and whatnot so i am not going to be putting any boxes in this um spread and I am filming ahead of time, so this is going to come out right about whenever this spread is, um, or this week is here. But for now, I'm filming a little bit ahead of time because I am having a big sale um, for Frugal February in my shop. So I kind of want to have my videos out or at least uploaded and scheduled um, so that I can have some content for you guys while I'm working on those sale orders. Um, I did get all of my sticker date orders out, of course, and so now we're on to the next sale. So, all right, look, look how pretty this is just with just, just florals in the corner. Um, I think I'm gonna use Faith Quote 6 and I want to use created with a purpose. I think what I'm going to do is take florals and put between the two pages here. So let's take this big one here. And lay it just like this. Then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and cut down the center to separate the two pages. I will have to re-punch the holes, but that's okay. Oops. Okay. And then we'll take this piece and use it here. And I do want another small piece to go there. So let's see. Let's try to just use one sticker sheet for this entire spread. So why don't we take this? And lay it like this. And then cut off this excess. Super, super cute. All right, we're going to save that piece. And then I'm going to take created with a purpose. Um, I am, I just filmed a video. I'm not sure if it's going to come before or after this one on um, my principal stickers. And I am going to be working this weekend um, or the coming weekend on, um, sorry, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm trying to, to walk and talk at the same time. Um, to get a lot of my older designs available as printables as well, including my quotes. So we'll see if I can get that accomplished um, this coming weekend. I don't know, we'll see. So let me cut this. All right, I need to go ahead and I'm hole punching these so that I don't forget because I will try to put it back in my planner at the end of this video and it's not gonna go and then Anyways, all right, um, I just totally squirreled on y'all. I'm sorry. All right, so we have this um, created with a purpose down here. 
And then I think I'm gonna decorate this top corner kind of like I did this one and maybe put another quote up here. Maybe in between, I don't know. I like to use this section for my meals. So I don't know, I don't know yet. Let's, let's just do the top corner, which I'm gonna use this sticker here. These florals would be perfect for um, a Valentine's Day spread as well. Like they're just perfect, perfect colors for Valentine's Day. I think I'm gonna cut this way. I always try to cut my excess off in a way that I can use the pieces again. You just have to be careful um, how you cut them off because you are gonna cut some things like at a an angle and you wanna make sure that you can use them again if you cut them at that angle whenever you cut your excess off. So we'll put that there and then we'll put this down here. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty, y'all. Look how pretty it is. And it's like so basic, like hardly any stickers at all. Um, okay, so now I think I might take this Artist Loft dot marker. Actually, I'm not going to. I don't want to. I, I think this spread is pretty. Let's put a little bit of, um, why don't we put some grid washi in here? Let's put some grid washi on it and see what it looks like. And then maybe we'll just call it done. Let's see. We'll put some grid down here at the bottom. I think these colors look really well with, or look really good with um, black and white. might just do the top and the bottom. I think it's been a little while since I've done top and bottom with washi, so I think that's what I'm going to do because we're going for simplicity here, um, functionality, so let's just do that. This red washi I do sell in my shop too, um, by the way. <laughs> it is available in my shop and I think I have plenty of it to go around. Um, I did mention in one of my other videos recently that I am going to be on the lookout for some more cute plaid washi that we can use in our spring spreads. So I will be doing that here soon as well. I love this plaid. I love it with these with these color florals. I just think it looks so pretty. All right, now I need to make sure, I should have put both of these pages together and kind of lined this up because now I need to make sure that my washi kind of looks the same. And I think it does, okay. Super, super pretty love this spread. Oh, I didn't realize. Let me just go ahead and, and mention this. I did not realize that somehow my website at the bottom of the homepage, I kept telling y'all to go subscribe to my site for emails. It disappeared. Like the whole subscribe section disappeared. So I didn't realize that. So anyways, um, I fixed it. I put it back. So if you want to go subscribe um, to receive emails from me to get sneak peeks and special discounts and coupons and whatnot, um, head over to my website, bepleasantlyplanned.com and scroll down to the bottom of the homepage and there's a section that you can subscribe 
um, and it'll put you on my email list. So I apologize for that. I kept telling y'all, <laughs> go subscribe, go subscribe. And then I wasn't getting any subscribers and I was like, well, I guess they don't like me. And then I finally decided to look and it was gone. So anywho, sorry about that. Okay, look how pretty this spread is. It's so pretty and so functional. Oh, it just makes my heart happy. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, you'll give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and TikTok. I do have a Facebook page as well. Um, so yeah, and then also take advantage over on my website of the 50% off sale, um, frugal February on orders of $35 or more. So these are the new designs that are just released. This is rainy days. I did have to change up my sticker kit sheet because I was telling you guys about some Cricut issues and I am no longer able in design space to put my washi on here and make it work. Um, so I just added a couple more boxes and a couple more headers. So I just filled in the, the empty spaces here on the sheet. Now my old um, sticker kits, I can still do them the same. Um, so those will still be available with the washi strips. It's just that going forward, the way that Cricut Design Space has updated recently, I cannot make it work. Somehow I can't make the washi strips work. So this is Violet Bliss. Violet Bliss also has a sticker kit, but I'm only going to be using the boxes. So each one of these um, new designs has the three matching boxes and a sticker kit. And then we have Feathered Friends, um, which I just did a printable, I just recorded a printable video on the Feathered Friends. So, anywho, that's it for this video. I thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Love you guys. Bye.